Okay, what we're going to be demonstrating today is how quick, simply and inexpensively we can install a hydro sleeve on a first deployment in a well. When you go out to the field, there are about four things you need to know before you do the deployment, and these are things you would know with any well or any sampling methodology. One, you need to know the diameter of the well. This, in this particular case, it's a two-inch well, but you want to size a hydro sleeve to fit the diameter of the well, typically to maximize the volume you can get out of the well. Two, you need to know the bottom depth of the well so you bring along enough tether. Three, you need to know the length of the well screen. Is it 10 foot? Is it 5 foot? The length of the well screen defines how much water you have available through for no purge sampling. And finally, you need to know the water level itself. Three of those things you may have known even before you left into the field. The third thing, or the fourth thing, the water level is something that's typically done in the field. So in this particular case, the well is about 44 feet deep. It's a two inch diameter well. Top of the screen is 34, 10 foot screen interval. And we have a water level of about 34 feet too. We're in the middle of a drought now and it's dropped down about seven feet here. So what we're gonna do is just assemble a standard 650 milliliter two inch diameter hydro sleeve and deploy it in the well. We're going to time it. And this would be the first deployment if you were going into the field. You would, uh, once you've deployed it the first time, you would repeat the thing over and over again, but just the recovery process, not the uh, initial deployment. Okay. What we're going to start out with is a bottom weight and clip. It's five ounce weight. These things run about uh, ten dollars a piece. We're going to use. They're uh, reusable. Another reusable component is a top clip, which we'll put on there. Second. This is a $2 item, also reusable. And the tether that we're going to use for this runs about 10 cents a foot and it'll last a lifetime as long as you don't drop it down the well. Okay? The only expendable component is going to be the 2 inch hydro sleeve. It's going to come packaged like this, comes out. These are going to run $20 each. So each time you collect a sample, you're going to drop the old one, dispose of it, and put on a new one. Now, crudely, we're going to time this with a stopwatch in terms of the assembly. So we're going to start right about now and see how long it takes to actually install this in the well. Okay, we're on. In this case, I'm going to put the bottom clip on the hydro sleeve first. Do is fold it. And I'm talking while I'm doing this, so this is going to take longer than it normally would. And then spread these prongs. Lock in there. Bottom clip's on. Then I'm going to insert the top clip actually into this tether we have here. Tie a knot at the bottom just to keep the tether from unraveling. It doesn't do that normally anyway. It's just a safety precaution. And work the end of this clip above the knot into the tether. Pull it up and it's in place. And we're going to clip this top clip into the hydro sleeve. Okay? Take her over the well, and this particular well with 10 foot of screen, I wish I could say we designed them that way, but if I let this weight rest on the bottom, the hydro sleeve is going to be right, top of the hydro sleeve is going to be right on the top of the well screen, not the top, the middle of the well screen. And that's where we want to start collecting our sample from. So we're just going to deploy it, let the weight rest on the bottom. there. Give us a little slack. There's the bottom. Don't want to pull up on it. I'm going to cut off about okay, four feet extra. And then actually tie this into a locking well cap. is going to take longer than everything else. This is simply so you don't lose the tether down the well. Not much on manual dexterity. And that would be the end. So, I don't know if that's visible, but it's 2 minutes and 19 seconds to do the deployment.
and that's with me talking and fumbling around with tying a knot. So let's say it took two minutes to do it. Figure we we're run, let's say three minutes. We run at um, billing out at sixty dollars an hour, so it's a dollar a minute. So you got about three dollars in terms of the actual time involved in the install of the hydro slam. And then what you would do is come back when you're ready to do your sampling months or maybe uh, usually months later and recover the hydro sleeve and collect the sample. So we're looking at under three minutes to do an install. Thank you.